All right, welcome to our latest Swamp Cast. We are here at Neyland Stadium where they had 102,000, which is about five, I think that's about 5,000 less in capacity. Yes, I think they're like 107. But anyway, there was a big buzz around this game. 102,000, and, and this is something I wrote about, and Robbie experienced it as well. It was amazing how confident this fan base was. They were. They were not just going to storm the field. They had plans to storm the field. And it was almost like I asked some of the other riders, I go, is it okay if they go ahead and play the game yeah. before they do this? Well, yeah, there was such a buzz about storming the field. The police had to release a statement yeah. saying, don't do it or you're going to regret it. We'll arrest you. So, well, you, and, and the girl who checked us in Friday night, she, she goes, mentioned oh, it. yeah, we're storming the field after the game. Yeah. And I go, well, what if you lose? She goes, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, it did happen. Will joked about uh, his call on the fake field goal but that was the turning point in the game but but it was it in really a different was. way yeah that was look I, I don't have a problem with the call and the, the, the truth of the matter was if Matt Elam could have kept his balance if he hadn't stumbled there yeah he could have gone for a lot of yards so I don't have a problem with that call it could have backfired that's what any trick play does but what happened then is Florida gets him three and out yeah and then they get the ball the back and Burton makes the ADR run which turned the whole game yeah. around and I've been telling people they need to have Burton throw the ball on the Wildcat but now I see you know Unbelievable play by I, him. I and didn't know he was that fast. But I, really I did didn't. because if you look back at the Georgia game a few years ago, yeah. he had a play like that from 52 and he outran everybody. He did it again tonight. He did, but that was 80 yards of yeah. speed. And uh, it was just amazing to me. You know, Florida kind of went to away from that power running game that we've been talking to and kind of a spread offense, right? Yeah, you've got a quarterback that can run like right. Driscoll. I, I love the fact that he doesn't like the sideline. Right. He wants to stay in bounds and make as many yards as he can. He's a big, strong, fast kid and he's a great runner. And, more that kid's growing up fast. But. He is, and you know, you look at his. He had exactly 300 yards of, of running and throwing. Yeah, uh, and made no turnovers, no sacks. Certainly uh, played well. Look, I'm a, I'll be the first guy. I'm not gonna take anything away from Florida. Tennessee's defense isn't very good, no. and you can see it. They got they were slow in the secondary, but doesn't matter. Florida got it done and, and a tremendous win. And I think these two games um, on Robbie, the road, they will always be kind of. Joined to the hip, you yeah. know, as they were as huge. These are the two games where maybe it all turned around for Florida from the last two years of, of not doing well. And again, these are two teams that won't be ranked when the, no. the polls come out. But Texas, Texas A&M's a good, solid football They've team. Got a lot of good athletes. Johnny so Manziel had a huge yeah. game today, and Tennessee's good. I mean, they're a good football team. They'll yeah. beat some people. Um, but I think more than anything, we saw Florida's pretty darn good. And I, we've been trying to tell you guys this all summer. First game didn't show it, and I know a lot of people jumped on there. Down including all of us. Including all of us, but um, the, you see now, this is a pretty good football yeah. team. And to me, Driscoll, Pat, that play to Frankie Hammond, yeah. they blitzed the corner, it went untouched, he avoided them, found the open guy, he turned into a huge play. Just a phenomenal play by a guy that hadn't played a whole lot. Yes, and again, you know, it's funny, we're, Robbie and I were sitting there, and Florida had third and seven there towards the end of the game, and I go, if they get six yards, this game's over. And you kind of looked at me funny, yeah. but I go, if they get six yards, that, they got gonna, it's Caleb a 50-yard field goal for Caleb. He's not missing it, and that game's over. And that's exactly what happened. You know, the minute he hit it, he and the holder went. <laughs> it was dead down the middle, I guess. I'm, well, you'll read more about him right next away. week because yeah. I've got something planned on on my old St. Augustine pal. We know um, Caleb's dad really well. Went to high well. school with yep. him. And uh, couldn't be happier for him. But big win. Couldn't be happier for Will Muschamp, too. All the stuff he's had to endure here, um, you know, they learned a lot last year. He learned a lot, and 3-0 and now is a lot different from 3-0 last yeah. year or even the year before oh, yeah. that. And now, Pat, stay focused, beat Kentucky, get to the LSU game 4-0, yeah. and then Florida football, huge buzz around Florida football. Again. They make, game day may come there. I think this is a great trend. Don't, game day should only go to the road games. Just go to the road games. Yeah, I like that. But it was, and that's what I wrote, too. They've spoiled another party. Yeah, Because last sure week, Texas A&M was a big, oh, my God, we're getting the SEC. It's great. Here, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, you had to be here to understand these people have, I cannot believe they lost the game. No. The they anticipation going into the game was Tennessee's going to win. They're back. They beat Florida, break their seven-game losing right. streak. Florida just took it to them in the second half. They might be wondering when, if they're ever going to be. They're I looking know. at Jeff Driscoll going, they got three more years of that. God. So, um, if he stays healthy, watch out. Yep. So, uh, certainly, you guys, nothing to go. Look, there were some things they aren't perfect by any means. They've had 19 penalties in the first half now. That, that's ridiculous. they got to clean that up. The, the 
I, I said this when they said second one and third and one, you're not good enough to run the ball at the middle. And we saw it again. And they weren't. You, you need to come up with bootlegs and stuff like that. Uh, so there, there's still plenty to clean up, and uh, they'll get better. And we'll just, you know, we'll see. But, I mean, it's certainly, I think, for Florida fans, after what they've been through the last years, this is a pretty fun couple Saturdays. Yes. Yeah. And this team is growing with its quarterback, and he's growing really fast. He is. All right, that's going to do it for our Swamp Cast. The next time we come at you, we will be talking about the Florida-Kentucky game. And that ain't going to be pretty because Kentucky lost to Western Kentucky tonight. Mm, poor and Joker. Yeah, that's not good for Joker, but we will uh, talk about that. Robbie Andrew, Pat Dilley of the games with Sun saying so long from Knoxville, Tennessee.